Since my garden channel is still pretty new, I wanted to take you through where it's been, how it changes through the seasons, and how it got to where it is now. The first summer in the garden was actually pretty good. And with Tim's help, I was able to expand pretty quickly. I also really enjoyed all the new animals in the garden. Of course, with the Phoenix summers, I needed to add irrigation. And fortunately for me, Tim was the perfect guy to do it. Who am I kidding? He's the perfect guy. Of course, with the rabbits, we had to add fencing around all of the gardens to keep them out. Even though the storm was really crazy, I was actually just happy to have some rain. The cooler temperatures of fall definitely helped my garden a lot. We also got quite a bit of rain too, and that definitely helped. my fifth and sixth raised garden bed. In January and February, my winter garden really took off. And this is one of the times I'm most proud of, and I'm really looking forward to it this year too. In March, it does start to warm up quite a bit and a lot of things went to seed. I was a little too greedy and I probably should have eaten them sooner than I did. rain we got at the beginning of the year led to a lot of weeds growing around the garden and even though they were weeds they were really beautiful and really green and it made the garden so much more beautiful to look at so this year I'm looking at growing clover in those places just look at how green that is but I am sad to say they are weeds and I was really allergic to the pollen this year, our average high temperature in April here in Phoenix was almost 88 degrees. So everything kind of started to die as far as the fall and winter garden, but I was still able to get a lot of things growing. And there's me, and this is one of my favorite garden projects, adding cattle panel arches to grow vertically. Summer 2020, definitely the worst summer in the garden that I've ever experienced. I had rabbits and birds and squirrels and mice eating everything. But I did make a new friend. the hottest summer on record. And then monsoon season. Unfortunately, at our house, we didn't get any rain at all. Just a lot of really strong wind. Everyone can use a drink when it's this hot. After this summer, I really wanted to give up gardening altogether. So fall came just in time. I'm growing a lot of new things I haven't grown before. And even though I'm still battling with the wildlife, it's been a lot better so far this fall. So I'm so excited to see what the next year will bring. <laughs> 